and love the way I do. We gotta hold on tight tonight. Hold on, nothing's gonna stop us if we just.
At seventeen, when it all began, my name was still Harry Webb, and my ambition was to be like Elvis Presley. I wanted to be a rock and roll star, to stand on stage and have girls scream at me. Miraculously, it happened. It happened to this unexceptional teenager from an unexceptional town in Hertfordshire. The question is, how? I had no background in show business. I'd had no piano lessons, no guitar lessons, no singing lessons, and I still can't read music. I just went out there and emulated what I heard Elvis do on the radio. I formed a band and played in pubs and clubs for a year, and at the end of that year, almost to the day, I made my first record. But the real mystery is how, 50 years later, I am still performing when so many others, some of them truly great musicians, fell by the wayside. I can only conclude that I was lucky enough to have been born with that indefinable, what do they call it, X factor. Alternatively, that someone, somewhere, had a purpose for me. I was thrilled by my success in those early days, but I never expected it to last. I reckoned on five years at the most. Never in my wildest dreams did I think that I would still be rock and rolling, still filling arenas all over the world, and that girls would still be screaming at me when I was old enough to have a bus pass. I have the odd grey hair, and so do many of the girls who scream, but so what? While there are people out there who still enjoy listening to my music, no matter what age we all are, I shall continue to sing for them. Now, people have described me as an enigma, but when it comes to how I achieved all of this, I'm as puzzled as anyone. I do have a few theories, however. I was lucky to have been born into a strong, close-knit family who have sustained me through the years. My father, Roger Webb, died sadly when I was 20 and my mother died three days after my 67th birthday in 2007. But my sisters, Donna, Jackie, and Joan, are alive and still very close. They are probably my greatest fans, so they're not afraid to criticize me. I'm an enigma, and I'm loving it.